All right, for our final step with our two-point perspective, remember we've got three boxes in two-point linear perspective. Um, one box is completely above eye level. Here's our eye level. One box is half above, half below the horizon line, so it's on eye level. And our third box is completely below eye level, below the horizon line, which is our eye level. Notice I've cut out a little shape to represent the sun. You don't need to do that. I just want to remind you that we have one light source affecting each one of these boxes, especially when we're talking about a landscape. We only have one sun, one light source. Um, so we're going to have light hitting some of these faces more directly than other faces. So I just draw, uh, cut this out to, sh to remind you that you have a light source. I want you to have it coming from the upper right hand side. Notice that it's hitting this face of this box that's on, below the eye level really directly. It's, it's going to be lightest there. So let's leave that the white of the paper. This face is getting a little of that light, but not as directly as that one. So it's going to be a little darker here. And then this face is completely facing away from the light source. So it's going to be the darkest face of the three. But we want to make it look like a white box, so we don't want to go too dark. Uh, before you start your shading with your pencil, uh, you're using your pencil, make sure it's nice and sharp, and you're going to use the whole edge for tone with the whole edge from the point to the wood on the paper. So when you're doing it, just a nice light application, go right up to your edge that you've drawn in place. And remember, since it's a flat surface, it's one even flat darkness. It doesn't get lighter or darker as you move across that surface because there's nothing to make it lighter or darker. There's nothing that blocks the light from getting there, and there's no curve that makes it a gradual change from light to dark. So from corner to corner, top to bottom, side to side, one flat even value. If you do this well, you don't need to do any uh, any blending with your tortillon, but you certainly could. After you're done, clean up any edges where you went outside of the, the cube, the box, and then carefully brush them away or wipe them away. Um, and then this side, remember, is going to be a little darker than that one. So we start the same way. We, we put down a nice light even value from top to bottom, side to side, go right up to the edge at the bottom, go right up to the side edges, make the same value as you had on the first face, as evenly as you can, and then go a little bit darker with a second layer of graphite to make it a little bit darker than the first layer. You know, remember, don't go too dark too soon, and it should still be nice and even across that surface. So if you see lots of pencil strokes, that means you're not, uh, you don't have your pencil sharp enough or you don't have your pencil laying flat against the paper on its edge instead of on its point. Remember the edge gives you tone, not the, the point of the pencil. We're not doing stippling, we're not doing hatching, we're not doing cross hatching. We're doing what's called um, shading. All right, It's a blending technique even without the blending tortillon. So it should get just a little bit darker than this one and considerably darker than the top face, which is getting direct light. Now, if you go too dark, uh, maybe you need to lighten that one up instead of uh, making this one even darker. Remember, go right up to the edges uh, of the face, top to bottom, corner to corner, side to side. Now, let's talk about the others. I need to do a little bit more there to make it a little darker than that one, but it's getting close. On this one, it's facing a little bit more away from the light source than this one is, but it's farther away from us too. Farther away from light source. I'm going to make it about the same darkness here as it is there. Um, and then this, these two are going to be about the same. This and this about the same. This, this, and this about the same value. So I want to mimic that one here and this one here, right? So that's your next step on, on these. I'm not going to go through it with you. I'm going to let you do it, but I'll show you what mine looks like with the next video um, when, when I tell you what to do with the, the the uh, picture. Um, let's talk about this third one. Because this uh, face is completely hidden from the light source, it's going to be darker than that face. So you would do this one, this one, and then this one. All right? It's just the opposite of this one. It's the darkest face. So you want to make sure that you do this one first, then this one to go from light to darker to darkest. Okay? And you go right up to the edge of this box. This is going to be darker than that one because it's getting none of the light. All right? Um, so go right up to the edges. Don't overlap this box. Uh, I'm sorry, don't overlap the value from that onto this box. It's going to have its own darkness. 
and I'm just comparing it to that one. So just a little bit darker, going from corner to corner, side to side. Oops, I went outside of my line, so I have to clean up my, my errant marks, right? And that's what I expect of you, too. Okay, so that looks pretty good. That looks darker than that. Then remember, this one is going to be a little bit darker than that one. This one's going to be a little lighter than that one. All right, so once you've got your three boxes uh, with their values on them, um, go to the next video, and I'll talk about um, turning it in. All right, I'll have mine done when you uh, are ready for the next video.